Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how in QGIS how you can add a polygon shapefile layer, add a field to it, edit the field, label a polygon, colour a polygon and then add the centroid of the polygon so that it shows in X and Y the centre of the block or polygon. So the first thing you need to do is obviously open QGIS make sure you've got the right projection down here uh, we're using EPSG 27700 which is British National Grid and then what you need to do is bring your layer in you can go open data source manager vector point it to the file and go add here we've got a, a polygon uh, showing woodlands uh, in Dumfries and Galloway and so that I can tell it's woodlands I'm going to change it to a green color so I double clicked on here and I'm going to change the color to something like that and I'm going to make the background thicker by clicking in here and that will do so that will change all of this like that and then we're going to zoom in using this tool here to a particular area and then move select this one polygon here so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add a field and to do that we right click on the layer open attribute table then what we need to do is open an edit session we can click pencil there or we can click on here that then opens an edit session and then we can use this tool here called new field the purpose of this we're going to add one in called owner underscore ID the underscore is a GIS convention for fields usually you wouldn't have spaces for underscores and we're going to make that a text field I'm going to make it 10 characters long and it will now add a field here the thing to do now is to save that and then it'll save close the edit session down open the edit session up now we have our owner ID what we can do now is using this tool here we can select this polygon we can find that polygon by opening the attribute table instead of showing all features go show selected features and we're going to change it in here and we're going to call it an owner ID of one two three four five I'm going to save that, stop the edits, and now we've added an owner ID of that to that. To double check, you can open this up here. Right, click on properties, even go to label, change the label to single label, label with, and change it to owner ID. OK, now you'll see that labeled there. Okay, so that's the first part of what we wanted to do. We've we've added a, a polygon layer, we've added a new field called owner ID, we've changed the colouring of the polygon, and we've added uh, an attribute to the owner ID. What you might want to do now is you might want to add the physical center of the polygon to all the polygons. And there's an easy way to do that by opening the attribute table and uh, at using what's called the field calculator so the field calculator is here click on that and what we want to do is create a new field and we're going to call it x coordinate like that in the output field name we're going to change it to a real and we're going to make the length 12 and the precision 5 this is, so this is going to create a new field with that name and with an, using an expression in a second. The expression we're going to use, I'll put this in the comments, is x open brackets centroid open brackets string geometry close brackets close brackets. And what that's going to do is it's going to return that value there um, for the x coordinate um, as, an, as an example. Um, and it'll do the entire, all the polygons. So click OK. 
and in the goodness of time it will there's quite a few polygons in this so um, take it a few seconds to do and a few other things open unfortunately there it is so that's that done so it's added an x coordinate there um, and now we're going to add a y coordinate so again open the field calculator but this time we're going to add y coordinate to there it's going to be a real number again it's going to be 12 5 and same string as before same expression except it's got a y in it this time click ok on that that will do exactly the same but um, using the y coordinate you always need to make sure you save your edit when you're doing GIS work like this in case it crashes which is unlikely um, and so it's added X and Y save that by clicking there and then click on the stop editing button um, that as a double check let's select this polygon here let's open the attribute table and show selected feature so that it's saying that the centroid for this one is those coordinates there which reading from the bottom down here um, looks absolutely spot on so there you have it we've um, added the centroid for all the polygons all 25,502 um, and that was all we we're going to show you in this video. I hope that's been useful and we'll do another video another time. Thanks a lot.